Hello, this is Max, and my colleague Bowen and I will present our work on visual language pre-trained multiple instance zero-shot transfer for histopathology images. Visual language pre-training has shown tremendous success in representation learning and robust zero-shot transfer to core computer vision tasks such as zero-shot open set image recognition. However, due to data scarcity and the unique challenges posed by gigapixel histopathology whole set images, zero-shot transfer has not been studied in the domain of computational pathology. Inspired by multiple instance learning, in this work, we propose MI0 to enable zero-shot transfer of free-trained visual language encoders to gigapixel histopathology images. We curated a diverse dataset of domain-specific image text pairs and showed that through unsupervised pre-training, our best model can achieve non-trivial zero-shot transfer capabilities on three separate benchmarks for histopathology wholesale image classification. In computational pathology, a key workflow is to make diagnostic determinations from digital whole site images of routine tissue specimens. Besides the issue of label scarcity in the medical domain, creating accurate classifiers for whole site images are often difficult since each image spends up to 150,000 by 150,000 pixels in dimensions and do not have bounding box annotations for regions and objects of interest. The current mainstream approach in computational pathology is to train a new classifier for each task or disease using a limited set of labeled examples and weekly supervised learning. In this work, we explore an alternative paradigm in which we leverage natural language supervision and visual language pre-training to develop a single model that can solve a wide range of diagnostic tasks via zero-shot transfer. In recent years, CLIP has emerged as a powerful technique for pre-training dual encoder image text models that can excel at a range of downstream visual recognition tasks. CLIP and later works at larger scales show that we can train models capable of exhibiting fairly robust zero-shot transfer capabilities through the use of prompts that exploit the cross-modal alignment between image and text learned by the model during pre-training. Despite the volume of zero-shot transfer applications developed for natural images and certain medical imaging modalities such as radiology, zero-shot transfer for pathology has not yet been studied. We believe this is due to two reasons. The first reason is a lack of large-scale publicly available datasets for paired images and captions in the highly specialized field of pathology. Compared to the general vision language domain, the only publicly available paired pathology dataset at the time of the study is multiple orders of magnitude smaller. The second reason is that whole set images are gigapixel in nature, such that conventional zero-shot transfer methods are not directly applicable. In this work, we will tackle both challenges. To overcome the lack of data, we collect data by web scraping image to caption pairs from publicly available educational resources in the pathology domain and combine with the current existing image caption dataset. After filtering for only microscopy images and cleaning multi panel figures and erroneous captions, we yield a diverse dataset of 33,000 image text pairs covering all major biopsy sites and morphologies of both diseased and normal tissue. Our dataset is the largest of its kind in the pathology domain at the time of the study. Despite being the largest in the pathology domain, our pre-training dataset is still considerably smaller than the ones used in radiology or general vision language. To improve performance, we initialize the unimodal encoders using various pre-training paradigms, comparing in-domain and out-of-domain pre-training data. Whole side images are challenging not only due to its gigapixel scale, but also their heterogeneous nature, where each slide comprises of various tissue and cell types that can interact to form higher level architectures of both normal and disease morphological patterns. In light of these challenges, we propose MI0, a zero-shot transfer framework for classifying WSIs inspired by the success of multiple instance learning for solving weekly supervised learning tasks in computational pathology. In this approach, we first divide each WSI into smaller tiles called instances that are more amenable to processing via our image encoder. And we then consider the WSI as a collection of such instances. For each instance, we independently compute patch level cosine similarity scores with each text prompt in the aligned latent space. We then aggregate the instance level similarity scores into slide level similarity scores using a permutation invariant operator similar to in multiple instance learning, such as mean or top K pooling. And optionally, we can also apply spatial smoothing to aggregate information of neighboring patches. The class with the highest slide level similarity score is considered the prediction, and these various configurations of MI0 are compared in downstream evaluation. 
We evaluate downstream zero-shot transfer performance on three routine cancer subtyping tasks, BRCA subtyping, NSCLC subtyping, and RCC subtyping, using in-house host slide images. For all tasks, we patch the WSIs into 256 by 256 patches at 20x magnification. And since zero-shot transfer can be fairly sensitive to the choice of text prompts, to better capture this variance in performance, we sample 50 subsets from a list of text prompts suggested by a pathologist, and we then compare the medium balanced accuracy across the 50 sample prompt sets. We compared performance between using a text encoder pre-trained on in-domain pathology text data, which we call HisPath GPT, encoders pre-trained on non-pathology-specific medical data, namely PubMed BERT and Bioclinical BERT, as well as a text encoder trained from scratch. We also s experimented with different pooling methods and spatial smoothing. Overall, our models either perform on par or better than ABMIL baselines using 1% of training data for every task. In terms of pooling method for MI0, we find that top K pooling performs better than mean pooling, while spatial smoothing does not change the results significantly. We find that pre-training the text encoder improves performance over no pre-training, but pre-training on in-domain pathology text does not necessarily yield better performance. We experimented with the choice of image encoder by comparing CTP to encoders based on the VITS architecture, which has a similar parameter count. We also evaluate both the CTP and VITS encoders, initialized fully from scratch with no pre-training as an additional ablation study. And we find that pre-training both the image encoder and the text encoder performs best across all tasks. To assess the added value of the pre-training data set, we trained our best performing model configuration on our full training data set on 33k pairs and compared to training only on Arch, which is a subset of our training data with uh, 7.5k pairs. And we find that for all pooling methods, training on our full data set performs better than training on only Arch on average over three tasks. For each of the three downstream tasks, we randomly select a whole site image of each subtype from the in-house test set. Uh, patches are ranked by their cosine similarity scores with the prompt embedding of the ground truth class. And within each subtype, the top row shows the patches with the highest similarity scores and the bottom row shows the ones with the lowest. And a board certified pathologist confirms that relevant morphological patterns to each class embedding are selected by MI0 corresponding to high similarity scores, while low scores generally correspond to debris or normal tissue relevant to diagnosis. Thank you.